everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make these beautiful bow barrette clips. And these are so simple to make. I'm using um, one meter of ribbon to make this one and half a meter to make this one. So as you can see, with this one, it's a double layer bow. And with this one, it's just a, a regular bow. One important thing to note about the ribbon itself is I'm using one that doesn't have a right or a wrong side. So it's the same on both sides. And then the other thing is with the barrette, I'm using one that has two holes on each side. And that's important because I'm going to be sewing the bow to the hair clip. Um, sometimes they don't have these holes. So if you want to follow along in the same way as um, I'm making them, just make sure you get one with the two holes on them. I'm going to write all the measurements in both centimeters and inches in the description box below. And if you have any questions, please do write a comment and I will see it and get back to you. Also, if you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel and also consider subscribing so I can see you in the next video. I'm going to be making this bow in the same type of ribbon, but in orange. So I've got one meter of ribbon and for the bow, I've calculated that I need 42 centimeters. And I need 49 centimeters for the tail. And we'll use this last little bit for the middle. Because the ribbon is the same texture on both sides, it doesn't have a right or a wrong side. It's very simple to make the bow. It's just a question of folding the ribbon. So I'm going to turn the end under and then do the same on this side. And I want the end to overlap the middle. You'll see why in a minute. And then I'm just gonna carry on doing the same folds for the under layer of the bow. So there I have it. So once you have this shape that you're happy with, the next step is to use the thread to secure the bow. So I'm just going to poke this through the middle. And if you like here, you could do a little knot. It's um, optional, but it's probably a good idea just to make a little knot there. And then what you do is you just wrap the thread around and then once you've got it right in the middle, you just pull and then you carry on wrapping the thread around a few times. Once you've wrapped the thread around a few times and it's all held together securely, then you want to make a knot with the thread so everything is held together securely and nothing can unravel. And then cut the thread. Now for the tail ends, you want to find the midpoint. So that's here. And then I'm just going to fold this in half and place the middle right underneath the threads here. And now I'm going to thread this through the middle. Whoops, my thread's getting tangled. And then I'm just going to wrap the thread around so it catches the, the ribbon tail ends and the bow. Okay, and then when you're happy with the placement, you just want to tie a knot with the thread so it's all held securely, or you could just poke it through the threads like this and tie a knot. So with this barrette clip, I believe they're all made this way. However, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. When you open it up, you can actually take out this middle bit, which is, um, it can be quite useful. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna take it out just by pushing on it. See that comes out and um, next I'm going to 
wrap this around the bow and then once I've secured it to the bow then I'm going to put this back on. And to put it back on it's very easy, you just poke it through the hole. And then it's back on. So you can attach the middle part in various ways. So um, I'm going to fold this over twice actually, I've decided I want the middle to be a little bit thinner than just folding it over once. And I'm going to place it over the middle of the bow and then I'm going to turn it around. And then I'm going to place the barrette at the back here where it should be. And I'm just going to tie a knot here with this ribbon. So once I've tied the knot, I'm just going to see how it looks like from the right side. Okay, it's looking really pretty. So um, now what I want to do is, to stop this from coming undone, I'm just going to um, stitch through the knot with some thread. Okay, so I, I made several knots there because I want everything to stay in place. I'm going to trim the threads and I'm going to trim these, these tie ends here, which we don't need. And then the next step is to put this back on. So I'm just going to slide it in. Okay, um, oh well, I've managed to completely destroy my nail polish doing that. Um, okay, so that's in place now. So we can close it. And the very last step is at the back here, I'm just going to stitch through the opening of the barrette and um, stitch through just this last layer of ribbon on this side and also on this side so that it's perfectly positioned and so that the bow doesn't slide around. Just pick up this last layer of ribbon and tie a knot. And then once I've tied the knot, I'm going to slide the thread through the opening and loop it round through the opening again and then secure that with a knot. Okay, so that's that side done. I'm just going to trim the threads and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I've just tied a knot and I'm going to thread through the opening of the barrette to secure the ribbon. So that was the final step. The bow is finished. Everything is held in place. If you like, you can cut these ribbons shorter or cut them at an angle, but otherwise it's finished. So that was a very, very easy way of making a beautiful bow, ribbon bow. For the next bow, I'm going to show you how to make this bow that looks very pretty and you're going to probably laugh when you see how easy it is to make this bow. So. What you need is you need a piece of ribbon. I'm going to use half a meter for this ribbon. And I'm just going to thread it through the opening of the barrette, so this opening here. I'm just going to close this. I think it might be a bit easier. So thread it through. And then you want to pull it um, halfway through. And um, actually, you don't want to do it quite halfway because you need extra length here to wrap around. And um, then what you do is you just tie a bow the way you usually would tie a bow.
So once you're happy with the proportions you have, you want to turn it around and just move that tail out of the way like that. And then you just want to stitch and do like a little knot on each end, like we just did with the other bow, just to hold the bow nice and securely. And then, um, as you can see, th these are quite uneven, so I'm just going to trim the ends. And then once you've done that, you've got your bow. It's just like super simple and it looks really cute. And you can use all kinds of ribbons to get really pretty bows. So I just secured the back. And now I'm going to cut these ends the same length. And I think it will look pretty if I make um, a diagonal cut here, like that, and then do the same on the other side. So I'm just folding the, the ribbon in half and cutting diagonally. And there you have it, a very pretty bow.